Hey guys, so I was just going to do a vlog today of like what I got the kids for Christmas, but I had a really busy weekend and I'm looking around my kitchen and I'm like, okay, maybe I can motivate some of you because this is what a Monday looks like when I didn't get to do anything on the weekend. And this is just like two of the 10 loads of laundry that I have to do. And I'm also cooking. I know a lot of you wanted more crock pot meals. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm making for dinner. And it is 5.29 right now. So yeah, I'm still gonna show you what I got the kids for Christmas, but I also wanted to show you what I'm cooking and maybe motivate you to clean up some stuff. I'm in the middle of like 30 things. Um, cleaned out the fridge, it's all still sitting here because the garbage is completely full. Yeah, I got a lot going on here. Let's try and make this kitchen pretty and make a yummy meal. So starting with the crock pot meal, I've made this in previous videos, but for those of you who don't know, this is gonna be for um, Chris and the boys. And this is just in here, some chicken thigh cutlets. You can use whatever kind of chicken you want. I covered it with a little bit of Italian dressing and then basically like the whole bottle of this hickory, sorry, I was had it upside down to get more sauce out. Hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. Put a little bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, and you can add brown sugar if you'd like. I didn't this time, but sometimes I do. Then here I just microwaved two butternut squashes for about five minutes and I put a little, that, that way it's just easier to slice them in half. I put a little bit of butter and salt on them and now I'm going to roast them in the oven probably for like about an hour. I'll check on them and I'm going to do that on 400 degrees and what else? This is for my butternut squash mac and cheese. The boys are finishing up their dinner. They're having their dessert. Tanner. They're so slippery, huh? And those doggies are just waiting for you to drop it. Here, you dropped one. Here you go. This is their dessert. Tanner. Oh, gross. Come here. You have to just give this tortilla chip all oh, off the bathroom floor. Oh, he's been holding on to that tortilla chip. Boys, come on, it's bath time. Come on, let's get, look at all these bubbles. Tan, you are really savoring that tortilla chip, aren't you? <laughs> the boys are finally down. Um, it's very eventful like it always is when I do bath time by myself. Carter hides in his tent naked and I have to like try and pull him out of there. Um, he brushed the dog with his toothbrush and then put it back in his mouth. What else? I don't know. They, they crack me up, but it's a lot of work. It's just funny because I see, like, a lot of, it's really loud. I see, like, a lot of girl moms do nighttime routines, and it's, like, so relaxing and nice, and they're just lay there and get dressed and get their baby lotion massage, and then there's my boys, and it's, like, a freaking hot mess chasing them around everywhere. And yeah, so anyway, I need to turn this down. I am boiling my pasta for the butternut squash mac and cheese. The boys will have the leftovers tomorrow. Um, but I'll have butternut squash mac and cheese for dinner. And Chris will have that as well as the barbecue chicken. And this is what I used for the noodles. So basically for this, I put a little bit of butter in the bottom and everything. I never give like exact measurements because I don't even know myself. This is like how I make it. But basically do it to your taste. I put a little bit of butter on the bottom. I put the pasta in, a little bit of milk, mild cheddar, which I'll put some more of this. Um, and then this is how much of the squash that I used. And then this I'll probably put extra in mine because I like a lot in mine and Chris doesn't. These rolls are my absolute favorite rolls, but um, this is what I'm gonna put Chris's chicken on. Of course I'm putting this on it because I put this on everything. Yep, I actually have dinner ready on time for you when you got home. It's gonna snow. So I 
clean up the kitchen. I still have a little bit to do, but I just want to show you guys what I got for the boys in no particular order at all. So this is like this because it just came in like a plain box. This Amazon is like no hassle um, packaging. So I took it out of the box. But this is just like the Paw Patroller. I had ordered this for Carter last year for Christmas. And like three days before it was supposed to come, it told me that they were out of stock. So I was really excited to get this for him this year. I know, I love it. We already put the stickers inside of it and everything. And I don't know. <laughs> it does stuff like that. Opens like this. And then we've got Ryder. And this little car that it came with. And then he had tons of other little cars with Paw Patrol that he could put in here. So, yeah, that's the first one. This is my favorite present that I got for Carter. And it was only like $24 at Target. But since I'm a boy mom, this is like my chance to somewhat be a girl mom. Because there's like a boy doll with a matching cape that goes with this. And you can see it right here. Um, but it's like my American Girl doll, but for boys. So yes, I'm very excited about this superhero. And it comes with a little mask too, you can see. Right here, so cute. So next I have Woody and Buzz. And I got these from Amazon, and Carter's very obsessed with um, Toy Story right now. So also I'm gonna try and like link things in the description box. I might not have it right up at 8 a.m. with this video, but I will get them in the description box. So this I got one for Carter and for Tanner, and it's called the Lovely Cartoon Truck, but it's just super cute. They're both really into trucks right now, and it looks like this, also from Amazon. So it says that it develops sound discrimination ability, exercise finger flexibility, color perception, stimulate imagination, and coordination and development and awareness, and it also has like this little um, remote part to it, so you can control it through there. Next is his sled for Carter. He loves being in the snow. He hasn't gone sledding yet. This is just like a classic Christmas gift and he'll absolutely love it. And it was $8.99 from TJ Maxx. So we'll definitely be excited to get this. Okay, and for Tanner, I feel like, you know, he's still so little, but he'll love all this stuff. This aquarium is a lifesaver. Like seriously, can't recommend this enough. Connor had his since he was a newborn. We had gotten it for him just like for something to look at. But if he ever woke up in the middle of the night, he would just come and hit the little star and the aquarium comes on and the fish move and you can have optional music. But like even to this day when he comes and like hits, when he wakes up in the middle of the night and he hits the button, it makes him happier. As you can see. I definitely, definitely recommend this because it has gotten us a lot of extra sleep. This I got from Ross. It was $8.99, but I just thought it was really cute. The little fireman that goes in here and the little truck. Um, and I feel like Carter and Tanner pretty much will just play with all of these toys. So it's really everything's kind of for both of them because they all they play with the same toys all the time. So it doesn't really matter who's for who, what's for, what am I saying? I'm so tired. I also got this VTech little bus from Ross. This was $12.99 and it teaches you like your numbers and letters. And it's just super cute. You can open it up top right here. And Tanner is like really into like putting things. How do I say this? Uh, like the other day, like for example, there was a bag on the ground. And he likes to like put things in the bag, put things in the basket. So we'll definitely enjoy this and Carter will. I love these green toys. They're like recycled earth friendly toys. This was $12.99 from TJ Maxx, little helicopter. He will love this and so will Carter. Uh, and then this fire truck. They're nice and light and very, very durable, so he'll love that. I also got like a couple little stocking stuffers and I'll probably add like some um, coloring books or something to them. But I got these little Care Care Bears little surprise pets. This was in my holler haul like months ago, if you remember that video. Um, this was also in the holler haul. This, I'm probably going to regret buying this, but my mom has something like this at her house and he loves playing with it. This is like the little um, snackies where you put the snacks on top and the drink inside. Carter absolutely loves Minions and he's going to love this because it's just totally like a Carter thing. And then little Melissa and Doug train and this was from Holler as well. And of course just some crayons, but 
I'm really actually liking the fatter crowns for him because they break these really easily. We also did get Carter the Amazon, I think it's got a fire. Um, it's like the kids tablet. I got it when it was like on a really good deal for like Black Friday or something. And I control everything from my phone. He hasn't had like a tablet or anything yet, but I do want him to get into like some educational games. Um, so I will definitely limit screen time and all of that, but I think it will be great for him for learning purposes. And we also got a train for the boys by Teens and Kids. I'll have all that information linked below. It is so adorable. It's a desk. It has tons of storage. Um, it, it can be very compact. We can also like make it bigger. It's adorable. I'm going to show it to you. It came in a few pieces, but it was really pretty easy to put together. This is a train. This is the little seat that comes out for you to sit at. And then this is a desk right here. You can store stuff inside of it. And then you can see how compact it gets. I have to sneeze. And then this is the front. And this comes off. You can store other things inside of there. But Carter's like obsessed with painting and Play-Doh. This is like a perfect little spot for him to do all that at. So I totally failed with my own tip that was something you want, something you need, uh, something to wear, something to read, and I got them a lot of stuff, but affordable stuff, and we're also donating like half of the toys in the player at least, so that makes me feel a little bit better about it. My sister actually got them a Mercedes <laughs> drive-on that has two seats in it, so they're definitely going to be spoiled this Christmas, but they're very appreciative, um, kind kids. Also, update on all of that laundry. Still sitting here. So, I'm going to have a lot of folding to do tomorrow. But you know what? It's okay.